All right, turning to weather, let's take another live look outside on this first alert action day. We can see the raindrops there on our tower cam in Modesto. That rain is moving through the region. It's the first of several storms that we are expecting over the next week. And Chief Meteorologist Nick Mariano, he has been timing this system out for us, or I guess we have to say systems yeah. plural here. Right, yeah, the next uh, week or so, very busy. At least Thursday, Friday, a lot of dry time, and then we have storm number two, and then three, they'll be here during President's Day weekend. But this storm, the big story with this one is really the snow, the valley, kind of nuisance type rain uh, out and about this evening. But overall, very very active now with live radar certainly filling in across the valley and then the snow picking up in coverage uh, and especially intensity in this year too, especially north of I-80 where the snowfall rates are approaching one to two inches per hour. You see that with the deeper blue showing up there on first alert Doppel radar. But down to the south across parts of the valley, you have the steady rainfall, although for the most part a light rain, but you can see some of this activity continues making its way in from west to east, even south towards Stockton to Modesto. You have some light to moderate rain that's now moving east of town into Modesto, coming up along the base of the uh, foothills into Tuolumne County. And then you have uh, the snow that continues resulting some very slow going uh, this evening across the higher passes, especially over Donner Summit, snow covered interstates right now. So this storm will continue pushing its way to the east by tomorrow. It's out of here. Then we have some downtime between that and the next storm. That one comes in on Saturday with lesser impacts. And then the third storm will have probably the most impactful one that we'll see. So here's how the forecast plays out tomorrow, where the rain showers are tomorrow to our north across the coastal ranges up by Mount Shasta. Much of the valley down to the south is a dry day tomorrow and will be in and out of the cloud cover throughout much of the day. And then as we get towards Saturday and then of course Sunday night and Monday, that's where we're watching the next round of wet weather coming through. So what we'll see is several rounds of precipitation. Snow levels will be initially fairly high, closer to about 6,000 feet. By Monday, snow levels start to drop. And as we tap into the atmospheric river twice, we're gonna add in plenty of moisture heading in our direction. So we'll time this out too. By Saturday, rainfall moving across the valley, snow for the Sierra. That moves down to the south and east, and you can see the next system. This one will have a longer impact from Sunday night with the greatest impacts there. And then Monday into Tuesday is where we'll see the rain showers continue. So this one will last for a little bit longer, a couple days. But look at all the moisture heading our way. Over the next seven days, we could see as much moisture, as much rainfall compared to since January of last year. So it's been a while since we had this much rain in a fairly weeks long stretch. So we'll watch for the rivers and streams to rise quite a bit. I think the problem spots will be the poor drainage locations uh, overall. When you get up to the higher elevations in the Sierra above 6,000 feet, a total of three to five feet of snow is expected. However, one to two feet of that is expected from this evening through tonight. And then Saturday, under a foot, and then the rest of that takes place Sunday night into Monday, lingering into Tuesday. As of right now, Monday is also a first alert action day. That's President's Day as we have the most impactful time, although much of the week ahead we'll see some active weather. But we're narrowing down the most impactful times so you can plan that travel as you head up over this year, which is going to be very slow going over the next several days. Curtis. All right, Nick, thank you. Now to a